the blog silence yani the fourth time award winning blogger hapa coast hapa mombasa hapa kenya yote nzima ni michael machampali mimi ameniita anasema kwa na some issues nitakuuliza maswali i don't know what's going on and i'm right here nataka kumsikiza ama umtaki kumsikiza ni wewe uh, uh, kama ingekuwa ni wewe umekuwa umekuwa introduced na the number one female artist from coast ama in coast unaweza jisikiaje anyway leo tuko naye adasa eh, ni muda mrefu ama ni kwa muda mrefu sana tumekuwa tukimtafuta eh, amekuwa shikiki lakini leo ah tunashukuru tuko naye tutapiga naye story nyingi sana anyway karibu sana katika machambali media asante sana thank you very much for this platform <laughs> eh, mwa, tukianza kabisa as in adasa ni nani Okay, Adas is a female artist from Mombasa, from Nairobi, from Kisumu, from Eldoret, from Kenya and worldwide kwa sababu she's not only a female artist, yeye yeah, pia ni performing artist, recording artist, pia ni comedian, you never know, but in terms of artist singing, yeah. Eh uh, je, yeah, unaweza kusema kwamba wewe mwenyewe ama kwa kauli yako, unaweza kusema kwamba Uh, Adasa is the number one female artist uh, from the coast region ama in the coast region. Ndio. Kwa sababu I believe in uh ulimi wako. Kenya utaongea, Kenya utakachotamka ndicho hicho kitakachofanyika. Kwa hiyo nikiongea kwamba I'm the I'm the first, I'm the best, I'm the yani the most hard working najita mkia mwenyewe na hivyo ndio itakavyokuwa kwa hiyo nakubali yep eh, adasa eh, wewe kama female artist eh, nadhani obviously utakuwa umefuatilia industry ya coast eh, kwa muda mrefu tumekuwa tukiona kwamba wasanii wa kike wamekuwa wakija eh, mtu ana hit alafu baada ya muda anapotea okay. mtu ana hit baada ya muda anatokea anapotea wewe nadhani hii imekuwa ikisababishwa na nini okay as, mimi acha niongele kulingana na ile kikundi nilichokipata wale wasanii niliowapata kama kina Akila kina Sai Kenya hata kama tuseme waliacha kuimba ama walichukua break lakini katika tasnia hii ya mziki ya sasa yani hai, haijui break hata uende 8 months wait uende 1 year break lakini urudi unaweza rudi na nyimbo moja machambali na ukashinda hata mwenye alikuwa ajaenda break kwa hiyo tuseme tu industry ya mziki inageuka each and every day. Hai, it doesn't matter utachukua break ama sio utarudi nyuma. The moment utasema tu acha nirudi tena katika mziki, wezi jua labda hiyo ndio hit song yenye bado tutakufanya tu upae. Lakini wako ambao wamekuwa wakisema hivyo kwamba wao nimepotea nikirudi lakini akirudi na imba nyimbo moja tena anapotea. Ana, ana, ana Asifu nadhani ni kitu gani ambacho huwa sana kinafanya wasanii wa kike wanakosa consistency. Labda ni chika moyo haraka kwa sababu hicho hiyo time kidogo tu nimekaa katika hii industry industry si rahisi si rahisi kwa kuwa nafikia mahali ukipata mtu anataka anakufuata anakuambia dasa mimi nataka kuanza mziki unashindwa kum advise kumwambia ule ukweli kwa sababu ukweli mziki si rahisi si rahisi kabisa lakini inahitaji wewe mwenyewe umekuwa determined like mimi nimeamua ukiamua umeamua kama what may usiangalie nyuma usiangalie hizo vikwazo usiangalie challenges wewe keep pushing sasa labda wanakosa hiyo na pia the people around you ina mata sana kwa sababu wale huko kivunjika moyo watu wenye uko nao karibu ndio wanakupatia ile motivation continue don't give up eh ukisema kwamba azini ni kuna vitu ambavyo vinavunja moyo azini vitu gani ambavyo huwa vinavunja moyo ama ni challenges gani ambazo huwa mna face nyinyi kama wasanii wa kike ama katika music industry okay nimesema uh, kwanza kabisa ni uh, kupata watu wenye wanaweza kusupport katika mziki wako. Hawa watu wenye watakuwa na wewe kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho wa mziki wako. Kwa sababu unaweza pata watu wameanza na wewe vizuri alafu wanaomwacha katikati. So ukishachwa pale katikati unakuwa stranded. Sasa kama yani wewe ni mtu nitasemaje weak ama hiyo ndio inaleta mwana mziki msanii wa kike anavunjika moyo kwa sababu yeye alikuwa amedependa hawa watu hajazoea kuenda yeye mwenyewe naweza sema hiyo ndio challenge kubwa sana kwa sababu katika mziki ni watu 
Kwa hiyo wale watu wenye uko nao you have to choose wisely. Hao ndio watenda na mimi mpaka mwisho na in case wananikatikati wa, wa, wa tuseme wachana mimi katikati umejipanga vipi? Kwa sababu wewe ndo mwanamuziki wewe ndo unaimba si wale. Yeah. Hawa tu unamaanisha vitu kama management. Ndiyo. Si management peke yake. Hata kuna investors. Yeah. Si investors peke yake. Sikuizi hata family wana wana support. Yeah. So you have to be prepared. Hawa watu ambao niko nao in case. Kwa sababu wao ni binadamu wanaweza kuja wakavunjika moyo ama pesa zikaisha. Yeah. So wao wamejipanga vipi kwa sababu you are the source. Okay kama wewe wewe sasa wewe wewe umejipanga vipi ya kwamba ama ni kitu gani ambacho unadhani umeki umekipanga ambacho kitakusaidia wewe ku remain relevant ama kwa consistency I think ni connections tu unapokuwa na wa watu unaanza na a certain group utapata new people as kulingana na mziki wako tuseme utaenda Nairobi utaenda a lot of places so hizo places unaenda you create connections so hizi connections zinakuja kukusaidia baadaye wakati uko peke yako kwa sababu trust me mziki ni watu Awezi enda uwezi ku, ku move forward katika mziki kama huna watu at at least one connections ama two connections hivi. Kwa hiyo I think ni connections to create connections. Juana na watu vizuri, ukipatana na watu mahali, si studio, si kwa ma events, si nini. Just create connections. Usi usitosheke na wenye uko nao. Kwa sababu you never know. People change. Okay. Yeah. Uh, umeneleza vizuri sana. Now on that ya kwamba kuna watu unaanza nao then mkacha nao. Nikikujua ulikuwa yeah. Stubborn Music. Okay. Baada kutoka Stubborn Music ukaja ilikuwa ni Dallas uh, ukiwa na Madala. Then ikatoka. Nataka unieleze kuanzia mwanzo as in ilikuwaje ukachana na Stubborn then uh, ilikuwaje ukachana na Dallas. Okay kwanza kabisa naweza sema mimi siku sijai kwa Stubborn ni kwa stable music. Na fikiri stable music mkubwa wake ni Mlendi. Mlendi yeah. So this guy alikuwa kama a promoter katika mziki wangu. Yes. Kwa nini nasema sijai kwa stable? Hakuna contract yoyote. Tusha hiyo. Hakuna agreement yoyote kwamba from today onwards you are stable music. So mimi sijai kwa stable music lakini nishaifanya kazi na yeye in terms of ashai kwa promoter. Ashai ni simamia katika video kuna video fulani ni pekeche. So enda linisimamia ile kutafuta director, kutafuta kama tu nilivyoambia mziki ni watu. Kutafuta the project. Uh, the project was funded by kuna a certain Lunganzi. Yeye ndio ali yeye ndio ali sponsor but pia nilichangia kwa sababu nilitoa pesa kidogo So kupitia Mlend yeye ndio alipatia connection za Lunganzi ndo kontaktia director kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa siji mambo ya director hiyo naanza dancers nilitafuta mwenyewe lakini yeye pia alichangia in one way or another alichangia but sijawahi kwa stubborn kwa sababu hatuna agreement ama contact na yeye that's one second dallas dallas sasa hiyo imekuwa management yangu tangu naanza kwa sababu mimi nimeanza nimeanza pale dallas records ile studio ni hapo MD amenilea hata msijielewi kabisa 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 in terms of kuandika mziki dogo rich amenisaidia sana kama saa hii naweza kutoa mziki wenye nimeandika mwenyewe nashukuru madala amenishikilia mkono kwa sababu yeye ametumia pesa zake ku shoot videos yani Dallas Records imenikuza in a very good way kwa sababu kama sio hao watu wengi sana hawangejua adasa sana kwa na washukuru sana Dallas. Then ilikuwa juu katoka Dallas. Ni what happened? Mimi sijaiandika mahali ama kwa post mahali nimetoka. Hizo ni rumors but kitu yenye sielewi. Maana yake mimi pia mpaka leo sijaelewa. Sijui nini inaendelea. The last time I think I contacted uh, Madala sikuwa impata kwa simu. So sijui kama ni kunyonga simu alinyonga ama ni blokiwa nili blokiwa siezi jua na pia sijajua the reason the reason kwa haya yote i think that this 2022 yote nime nimekuwa peke yangu nimeyeka sana chini ya maji kwa sababu why should i post why 
why should i tell people wakati uh, i think mziki niliamua mwenyewe wakati naanza mziki hakuko na mtu mwingine so sijajua mi pia niko stranded sijajua kwa nini kunaendelea nini naona two rooms cfb si ma bloggers si studio i'm also here right here i'm asking madala i'm asking md i'm asking dogorich what's going on sawa eh ulimpigia madala simu mm-hmm. simu haikwenda through yeah. ulimpigia md ndio kwa sababu nilikuwa natoa kuna hii nyimbo nimeka bumple inaitwa pesa it's an audio haina video so the previous project was katika so ni kanta kutoa hiyo audio inaitwa pesa siwezi kutoa project kabla sija muhusisha madala yani iko so he has been a good promoter is he has been a good manager kwangu sio kumpigia hapo ndo nikajua sijui alinyonga simu sijui ni mimi tu ndo simpati sijajua so ikabidi nimpigie MD kumpigia MD akaniambia nitamtafuta first day second day then third day MD akani respond akaniambia mimi nime nimeuliza lakini nilivojibiwa yeah, yani alivojibiwa kwa sababu niliona ni heri ni when hizo message ni when hizo spirits in case labda nionekane kama naongea uongo so mimi ndio kanaambia hey mamangu mimi nimepiga simu kweli lakini nilivojibiwa wewe toa tu hiyo project toa tu hakutaka kunielezea zaidi kwa nini nikamwambia ni sawa vile tu mmenipatia go ahead na nakuheshimu wewe ni babangu mpaka leo katika mziki cha tunitoe project. So ndio maana niko hapa nasema sijajua pia mimi kinachoendelea. Okay, eh, kwani katika umesema kwamba ilikuwa management yako. Inamaanisha how ulikuwa unahusisha katika ku record na kushoot everything, si ndio? Ndio, yeah. Eh, eh, hii ambayo ulikuwa unataka ku ku release, ulikuwa ume record now how ndo umefinance your project? No. Maybe hiyo ndio ilisababisha kwamba as in maybe ukasirikiwa kwamba ulienda kufanya kazi mahali kwingine alafu hauko umehusisha management. No kwa sababu hata hapo niliporecord si kujipeleka peke yangu ulienda nao nilipelekwa na madali ah. ambaye ni just came madali yeye ndio alinijulisha huko nilikajua oh kumbe maximizer yuko Kenya kumbe kuna studio mahali fulani so mimi nilikuwa siwezi ku make any step kabla sijamhusisha no okay sasa hiyo ni ile part ya mziki eh, but huku nyuma pazia unajua kila kitu huwa kuna mbele kuna mbele as in ile stage eh uh-huh. afu kuna behind the scenes eh sasa issue ni kwamba inasemekana kwa hiyo tutakonfamia wewe na madala hamkuwa tu msanii na manager ama msanii na, na na promoter wewe na madala mlikuwa wapenzi oh so hizo ndo ni, ni kweli ama si kweli si kweli kwa sababu eh, you used to work in the in, eh, hospitality industry right yeah, yeah, yeah true inasemekana ile time ambayo kulikuwa mahoteli yamefungwa hizo kazi hazikuwa wewe uli move in na madala as in mlikuwa mnaishi na madala nikaambe mlikuwa ni mmeanza marriage ama relationship ya kama stay sijaiolewa ushaikuishi na madala sijawahi ushaimdeti madala sijawahi unadhani kitu gani ambacho kinafanya watu wadhani ama wafikiri kwamba wewe na madala mlikuwa mnadeta ama mlikuwa wapenzi i think ni kwa sababu tunawa pamoja na tuko ni opposite sex na hiyo ni kawaida haijatokea kwangu peke yake hiyo kushukiwa ama tetesi hata mtu yote mwingine mwenye anafanya kazi na manager yake ni mwanaume watoto kwa hmm, yule hivyo so ni kitu ya kawaida nilikuja tu nikazoea hizo tetesi at first i was like i was distracted like kwa nini watu wanasema hivyo kwa nini watu wasijue ni kazi tu lakini kabidi tu nimezoea like oh, ni kitu ya kawaida so siezi pia laumu watu watu lazima waseme bro wade tu unajua hizo kuwa huwezi kuwa maybe alikuwa maybe anakutaka huwezi jua then maybe wewe ukaanza kudate alafu aka huwezi jua eh what it well si, sijui kama alikuwa ananitaka lakini kulingana na mimi na time tumekuwa pamoja kazi tumefanya hajawahi onyesha any sign of like tuseme ananitaka siezi jua pia kwa sababu i don't know but kulingana na mimi sijawahi ona hiyo connection ama kwamba ananitaka kitu yeye alikuwa anat- madala amekuwa akitaka tu mafanikio yangu amekuwa tu akitaka tu nifaulu vizuri katika mziki na i'm single 
And by the way, I'm not ready to mingle. Hapa karibuni umefanya kolabo na Calligraph, umefanya kolabo na Major, umefanya kolabo na Steve Simple. Hizi kolabo zimekusaidia? Sana. Very big connection. Nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu I think kolabo inasaidia vitu viwili katika msanii haswa kama mimi mwenye tuseme niko katika hiyo safari sijafika. One ina fungulia katika platform zako si YouTube si Instagram watu wanaweza kujua mafans unapata unaongezeka unapata fans wengi one two pia unapata connections ya watu unaitwa collabs zina zina multiply kwa sababu kupitia hizo collab nimefanya collab nyingi zingine zenye hata hazijatoka kupitia tu hizo collab so i think collab inasaidia sana Eh, eh, katika wasani watoto ambao ulifanya kazi nao eh, mmoja ambaye ani story zake ama kumekuwa na issue sana ni Steve Simple Boy but before nijibu hilo eh, hapa tuko Moorings Mooring is the only floating restaurant in Kenya as in yani hapa venye tuko tuko katikati ya maji ndio maana ukimwona dasa wafanya fanya hivi juu kwa sababu mawimbe yakija tuna tuna, tuna tuna cheza cheza hapa kuna drinks kuna food Easy vitu zote ziko very much affordable contact zake ni hizi hapa eh, sasa tukirudi kwako adasa eh, wewe na Steve Simple Boy yeah. ile ilikuwa ni kiki ama kuna vile mulifanya kazi afu mkaanza kupendana ndio ilikuwa ni kiki ilikuwa ni kiki yeah. Steve yeye mwenye ashaye kusema kwamba aliwahi kutongoza but wewe ukamwambia kwamba unafikiria uh, alikutongoza ukweli Steve ilikuwa ni kiki bado Hajaye kukutongoza. Ilikuwa ni kiki yote. Ikatokea kwamba Steve leo anakutongoza, anakutaka. Siwezi kubali kwa sababu mwenye ana date ni rafiki yangu. Yaani kwa fupi siwezi kuendelea na mtu mwenye ako na rafiki yangu. Kwa ni Steve anamdate nani? Siwezi sema. Atuambie, as in Steve anamdate nani? Kama yeye mwenye hajaoita akakusema mimi ni nani? Yule mwenye ambaye tumekuwa tukijua kwamba walikuwa wana wana date ama ana date ni kweli? As in hatutambia mtu sawa hatutambia mtu wewe <laughs> wewe kamera cut cut hata <laughs> turekodi labda ni yeye mm-hmm. labda si ye mm-hmm. lakini siko katika position ya kusema i'm sure Steve Simple Boy atakuja afunguke mwenye ni binadamu bana atasema kuna fununu ya kwamba hizi collab tatu zilikufanya ukatafutwa na msanii international as in msanii ambaye hata wewe ukitaka kwenda huko lazima uapply visa ambayo itakuchukua sijui kama miaka mitatu as in yani msanii mkubwa sana sijui ni kutoka US ni kutoka nchi gani naomba kwanza ukufahamu ni kweli kwamba kuna collab international ambayo ili ulikuwa approach na msanii hiyo ilikuwa ni siri nimeimeza lakini sijui wewe machampali wewe unatafuta jeumbe anyway na kuaminia ndio kuko na an international collab yenye nilikuwa featured in sitataka sama sitataja jina ya huyo msanii lakini tulishafanya ngoma tushashoot video na inatoka very david sitasema bana bo <laughs> sita yemi alade no 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 mtaona simi mtaona bionse mtaona chris brown mtaona dj hal <laughs> malizia ndio umemtaja maximizer mm. eh, of late mimi nilifanikiwa ku, kuingia kichochoro fulani hivi nikasikia ngoma zako almost 8 songs mm. umefanya na producer maximizer ndio inamaanisha kwamba saa hizi umebadilisha umebadilisha producer ambaye unafanya kazi naye well uh, machampeli wewe uliweza kusikia 8 songs from maximizer peke yake kuna mwingine alisikia 10 songs from Vicky Pondis kuna mwingine alisikia 20 songs from Alex sasa sijui hapo utaniulizaje. Hebu sasa tuambie as in what's next after wewe umeacha na madala ama umeacha na dollars ama as in how producer umekuwa kufanya kazi nao vipi na mpango wako iko vipi? Well sijaiachana na dollars records kwa sababu hata jana nilikuwa hapo dollars na tume record ngoma na MD. Sijawahi achana na ile studio pale ndo nililewa. Siwezi achana na nyumbani. Siwezi Yaani siwezi hata kama kuna mtu hapo nje anatamani niachane awe pole. But ushikii simu. I'm talking about the studio. Kushikiwa simu hiyo ni kawaida hata wewe jana ukunishikia simu. Unipigia simu kweli? Anacho. 
nachoma. Adasa nachoma, nilikuwa busy. Alamna <laughs> basi pia yeye yuko busy ndio maana hanishikii. Lakini ulivyompigia manager wangu, eh. hakukwambia kwamba hakukwambia kwamba azini manager wangu mjukuu akai. Hakukwambia kwamba eti sijui acha na machampati hayapatikani. Alikwambia ako engaged katika shughuli fulani atakupigia. Na si nikupigia. I think pia huyo jamaa hakunishikia simu. Ah. Yeah, hakunishikia simu. Ni 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 iwe tunatuharibia dasa. Na huu ni uongo. Brand una uongo. So as in mipango yako na hawa producer ambao umekuwa kufanya na producer tofauti tofauti. Mhm. Eh mimi kwanza napenda sana kufanya uh, nyimbo na producer tofauti tofauti kwa sababu imenisaidia sana. Imenikuza sana na imenipatia nikuwe na ile courage naweza fanya niko freely kufanya na producer yeyote mpya hata chip keys kwa sababu hii kufanya na different producers nimejua huyu yuko hivi so producer na kuna mwenye yako hivi mwenye anapenda hivi mwenye anapenda hivi so ina kufanya uwe, uwe tu you can record anywhere ambapo nafikiri ni vizuri sana kama msanii kuna swali wala watu wengi wanapenda kuuliza ma as in hiyo wa mafans wanapenda kuuliza as in future collabs uh, future plans okay naweza sema uh, nimekuwa featured katika collab. Yaani nimekuwa featured na collab nyingi zenye hata hazijatoka. Zenye zimetoka nimekuwa featured, lakini nyingi zenye hata hazijatoka na ni za huu mwaka. Bado tu nimekuwa featured. Kwa collab ndio nyingi. Ara singles sio nyingi vile, lakini collab ndio nyingi. Na naona na naendelea tu kupenda collab kwa sababu one kuna interaction. Two una you grow as an artist. You learn one thing two things from the other artist three connection four in a letter peace love and unity wewe kama artist na artist mwenzako wa Kenya wa Tanzania wa wapi then you growing pamoja katika hizi few collab maybe zenye ushawahi ku release ama ambazo utawahi ku release ni gani yenye uliwahi ku approach au ukasema eh, eh, okay okay yani ilikushtua huko una expect i think ni yenye nilisha release gani ya yeah, najikakamua na Benzema. Mm. Yo collab ilinitatiza sana kwa sababu kulingana na nyimbo zake I was like two time by nini mimi na yeye. So mimi hata alikuwa nimekataa kabisa lakini nakumbuka Jose K Madala ndo aliniambia usikatae collab you never know. Na naweza sema hiyo collab ndo ilini introduce Nairobi. Kupitia collab ya ya Benzema ndio mimi sasa ndo nikaanza oh kwenda Nairobi kufanya Uh, interviews hivyo ilinisaidia sana na hizi ambazo zinakuja gani nyingine pena wewe ushawahi kushtua kidogo ama uko na experience yenye sana. yenye ilinishtua kabisa ni hiyo international collab like najulikanaje huko mimi chonyi mzima lakini nikasema i think ni kazi ya mtu inapikipepea inajulikana tu na you sell yourself through your hard work sikia chonyi to the world na hatu <laughs> na hatu ring okay it's kenya to the world mm-hmm. yeah parting shot tumalizia unaweza kuambia nini na mashabiki wako ama watu wote ambao wanakutazama wanakusikiliza kwanza kabisa ningependa uh, kuanza na a very special word i love you very much whoever is watching me right there i love you very much kwa sababu kama sio wewe jamani mimi hata singekuwa hapa machambali hata hangewa inijua lakini ile subscriber yako moja ulipopa subscribe tu nikapata one subscriber two subscribers ndio ikanikuza kwa hiyo asanteni na ningependa tu muendelee kuni support okay katika huu mziki kuna mengi utasemwa kuna wengine watakuweka uonekane mbaya kuna wengine watakuweka uonekane mzuri wewe tu upenda mziki wangu kwa sababu na amani na, na imani mziki wangu ni mzuri. Guys, please subscribe my YouTube channel Adasa Dasa kwa sababu more is coming. More is coming. And Instagram, please follow me official Adasa. TikTok official Adasa. Na pia msisahau jamani. Sikuizi mimi uwekaga nyimbo zangu katika boom play rutu kidogo nifikishe 1 million au utasikia jada sake kikisha 1 million stream on my music tafadhali nitawashukuru sana na hii ni machampali media e, naomba tu nyote msubscribe lakini kabla tu sign out naomba ni wa take on a tour on this amazing restaurant floating the only floating restaurant in Kenya